Hello everybody, this, this is Rob from uh, Mr. and Mrs. Brimtat or uh, Bruder.org and this January I started a challenge to uh, lose quite a bit of body fat. I'm brimming at the waist so I'm going to blog about my weight loss journey every week and as part of that I want to get down to 10% to body fat. So please uh, feel free to, to track my progress as I go along. To start out, I went to work. I work at an Air Force base and I was able to get my percent body fat checked. So I did use two different methods. The first one here, let me switch my camera if I can. The first one I did here was called the uh, in body. And what it does is it takes, sends electrical frequency. It's kind of this scale thing that you stand on to back up a little bit and you stand on it and hold a couple handles. I'll, I'll show some pictures here. But essentially a scale that sends um, electrical uh, waves through your body. Uh, looks like it sends uh, you know 20 hertz and or 20 kilohertz and 100 kilohertz through your body. Then it measures the impedance. So if you want to pause that and read a little bit about it, um, you can because I don't want to want to read to you on this video. But it uh, it's able to use that those measurements of impedance to measure your each of your limbs, kind of the muscle, the the fat, the water content, and then your trunk as well. And then it uh, generates a, a chart like this that uh, shows you where you're at. This isn't actually mine, so the printout I got is right here. So as you can see, you know, it kind of tells you like for example, weight, I'm a little bit, I'm in the, the normal range, but I'm a little bit on the, you know, just towards the, the heavy side in the normal range. And then SMM stands for skeletal muscle mass. So it looks like I'm just a little bit above average on my muscle mass. And then fat, I am a little bit above where, I, where I'd like to be. And then my water weight was, uh, you know, shows that. So then it uh, does some calculations and shows that I am, you know, according to this, to my percent body fat is 18%. And then it kind of, this is kind of a cool little chart. It's telling me that my, my trunk weighs 65.1 pounds, and then each of my arms is 8.4 pounds. And uh, looks like my legs, each of my legs is about 21 pounds. So kind of moving on down. It, this little measure, this fat here, it's telling me if I lose 6.2 pounds of fat that I will be right where I'm supposed to be in the, you know, on, on the chart. So that, that was the first test I did. Let me just flip this page over. Um, kind of shows, you know, 18% on, on the, according to this test, I'm in this, uh, Let's see, where am I? Acceptable, actually, for a man. Acceptable body fat. Um, then it just has uh, some information here for me on uh, what I can do to improve. So that was the first test. That's called the in-body. and So we'll slide that one aside and let's look at this other one I had done, probably within 10 minutes from each other. This one was called the bod pod. And this is a contraption. I'll I'll flash up a picture for you to see. I I went and took a picture. Here's here's a picture of me standing on the scale, taking my weight. And then uh, here's a picture of me getting in the chamber of the bod pod. But th this actually uses uh, here's the other sheet here. Uh, I guess pressure to to determine your percent body fat. It uses some kind of uh, uh, I don't know if it's just air. Here it's saying the gas volume. I guess air is considered a gas. So, but uh, th this test, I I am not quite sure exactly how it works. But this one is showing me that I am 20.5 percent body fat. Um, I had done this about six years ago, and I was 12.2 percent. Uh, I weighed about the same six years ago, but. Uh, these are some show, some charts just showing me the change over time from when I did it in 2010 
to 2017 when I just when I did this on well a few days ago so but if you look at this this one's interesting this one is telling me that I have excess fat um, indicates that I have an excess accumulation of fat over time so I don't know whether to take these two different results and average them and think that I'm 19% but uh, anyway I, I do want to do something to get, uh, you know, the goal is to try and get to 10% if I can. Oh, I forgot to show on the on the other chart, but, uh, you know, this is showing me, I, I believe that I should be eating, or, you know, 16, 74 if I just wanted to, to maintain where I'm at, or my resting metabolic rate. If I were just to rest all day, I would, my body would burn 1,674 calories. And I guess there's, I did these kind of to reverse the math because this thing here is saying estimated RMR, which is this, times the daily activity level, which is here, is supposedly equals this. So I kind of did the math and figured out that, you know, this is roughly 1.25, 1.5. So it kind of goes up in uh, 0.25 increments, you know, give or take, because it wasn't exactly on. But I guess if I uh, am somewhat sedentary, then I can eat 21 2,143 calories and kind of maintain where I'm at. But to lose weight, I will want to, you know, reduce those calories. So uh, this other report, I, I forgot to, to show, but it's saying that I should eat or, you know, my, the calories I should eat per day is seven, 1,766. So anyway, that's, uh, those are the two tests I had done, the, the bod pod and the in body and uh yeah please uh follow my my blog bruder.org to check my pro my progress i want to get down to 10 percent body fat uh this just goes to show that it, you know percent body fat is an exact science um, i know some people have scales at home that measure it i i'm going to go back in one month and remeasure in a month and see how i'm doing i think that's the key is that you keep measuring against the same equipment that you use to, to track your progress uh, please feel free to comment any suggestions or anything you have for me.